there guys Ken here your thrifty apprentice and welcome back to the studio in this video we are going to be tackling um, a poppy in watercolor pencils I am using uh, Marco Ruffini or maybe it's Marco Refine, but I think it's Ruffini um, 36 count of watercolor pencils I'm going to be doing a poppy on if I'm not mistaken this is also um, Kenson 12 9 by 12 um a watercolor paper now the reason i don't really know is because i sketched this poppy out i know the better part of six seven months ago and it has been sitting around in my studio and i figured that this would be the perfect composition to go ahead and start testing out and doing field tests for this new set of watercolor pencils which you guys can be assured that after i've had time to test them um, long enough I will be doing a review and letting you know what I think about it um, I do have the tendency to try to use my products um, more than one time for several weeks or several projects before I offer an opinion that way I can make sure that it is comprehensive and in, in depth so here you're gonna see that I am just filling in the poppy with two shades of purple violet here um, I'm also going to be using a couple of shades of green yellow and a black here I'm limiting the colors that I'm using in this composition keep in mind that the more you limit the colors in a composition the more color harmony that you will have and the better and more unified your paintings and compositions will look um, <clears throat> so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Um, I, I did notice as I was looking back over this video before I decided to do the voice over that um, it was actually pretty long. So you are going to see some cut scenes in the video, but you won't miss any um, of the important steps in getting this composition done. Um, for the most part, I'm going to be using a water brush in order to um, liquefy my pigment. Now, typically I would use a stiff flat brush like a golden tack line in order to push watercolor pigments um, watercolor pencil excuse me pigments around because those tend to be the better brushes for dispersing um, those pigments from watercolor pencils but instead in this composition I am using um, a water brush mainly because I wanted to just liquidify the pigment more so than pushing it around so you're going to see that I'll grab my credit card scraper as I do each petal in order to scrape in the veining. And then I'm going to use those pencils just like I'm using a paint palette and take my brush moving color directly from the lid in order to add that onto my composition. Um, on my right side over there, you see that I do have a paper tile and that is just to help me control um, the amount of water that is on that brush. Keep in mind that water brushes will constantly feed water um, through the tilt. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, a Sakura water brush. Um, and they are really good. I really do enjoy painting with them and using them. So if you haven't given a water brush a try, don't hesitate. Go ahead. Um, I think you might enjoy them. Um, if you're new to the credit card scraping or the credit card tool, um, I've told you guys in videos before that that is a trick that I picked up from Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Um, it just helps to add in great details to the compositions that you're doing. Um, it makes it really easy to, especially when it comes to flowers and botanicals, it makes it really easy to add in your veining. Um, <clears throat> And then it kind of scars the paper, allowing those pigments to get down into um, those lines. So, yeah, it, it adds re real great depth to a composition. Um, guys, you will have to forgive me if it seems that I'm stumbling over words. As most of you know, this is just my second verse over back after several months. And I will get back into the hang of doing it. So just bear with me here. Um not really much more to talk about as far as this painting is concerned more than likely what i'm going to do is i am going to go ahead and cut out at this point and let some music play in the background because the tutorial is pretty self-explanatory um please feel free to watch it all the way through then go back and attempt the painting or you can watch it halfway through and pause or you can just try to paint along with me as i go um <clears throat> excuse me 
but either way i really want you guys to enjoy it i'm going to go ahead and, and ask you now please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share remembering that sharing is caring um, don't forget to head on over to the Thrifty Apprentice Facebook page and like us there so that you can keep up with the things that we do both on and off camera. Um, I would really enjoy to see you guys there posting and chatting and talking. Um, <clears throat> we also have an Instagram page, so please feel free to follow us there. I uh, would love to see you guys there as well. And remember, as I tell you at the end of every video, just keep painting. Enjoy, guys.